Hey, how you guys doing? I wanted to share with you a find I made today. I found uh, 10 original uh, works of art. I believe it's pronounced Sumier for most of these, not all of them, but most of these uh, are, are Sumier, and you might think it's watercolor. Uh, I probably call it watercolor later in the video. It's an ink painting style, Eastern Asian ink painting style. Uh, I could not identify any of the individual artists, uh, but they were, you know, the, these frames were made, or the, the paintings were framed, rather, with great care. Uh, and so I do think these are worth money. I paid 4 or $5 for each of these. Uh, we'll get into the prices on later in the video. But I wanted to just show you that you can find this kind of stuff at thrift stores all the time. It's not hard to do. Uh, and if you take the time to take the right pictures and give it the right keywords and, you know, ship it the right way, which is a whole a whole nother ordeal, you can make pretty good money. Uh, I found 10 here. If I make 40 bucks per painting, that's $400 profit off of an initial investment of like 40 or 50 bucks, which is, in my opinion, pretty good. I've got them all right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten total. Most were five dollars. Two were four dollars. Uh, so all in, that puts me at forty-eight bucks, which is not bad for ten. Ten of these. Uh, I if I can't figure out any more about the artists, I think I will list them for fifty bucks a piece plus shipping, which will make me a pretty a pretty nice profit. Uh, let's just go over them individually. So here's the, the crab right here. This is the artist's signature. Uh, they're watercolors. I do not know a lot about them. The frames are kind of dinged up. What I do is I just sell them in the frame they're in. Some people might try to repair the frames, uh, get some kind of wood marker and fix it that way. I don't do that. I just say, hey, here's what it is. If you want it, you want it. If you don't, you don't. Um, so a cool watercolor crab. Uh, this barcode here. So I thought at first these might be just like generic Kohl's type art projects, uh, but this barcode is for the frame. So these were definitely someone bought the frame and, and did it themselves. Uh, this is a, a different artist. Um, it's a, a bird, maybe a uh, a crane, I guess. If you know if you know anything about any of these, I would love to have your input. Uh, it would be much appreciated. Just black and white watercolor. If you know the style, even, if there's a name of this Japanese watercolor style, that would be um, much, much appreciated as well. This one, I liked it a lot. It's a, <laughs> it's a, a chicken, you know, it's a hen. Uh, there's the little neck, neck thing. Um, is that a hen or is that a rooster, I guess? It's a, probably a rooster now that I'm thinking about it. Um, there's the, uh, the artist's signature, no, no uh, characters there. This one was very cool. So this, I thought, might be a, a print. Uh, it certainly is different kinds of media. So it's like a mixed media. Um, maybe they put sand on there. Uh, that's like a, a, a silver metallic spray paint. Uh, supposed to look like sand, which it does look like sand. Like, that's why I like these, because I could tell what everything was. You know, when I'm trying to buy art, if you don't know who the artist's name is, it's kind of, you're just going off if you, if you like it or not. And I really did like these. Uh, these are all things that I would, if I saw them for like, you know, 30 or 40 bucks, I'd probably buy them at, at that price if I liked them especially enough. Uh, and I had the space on my walls. This one was very cool as well. These two, not, I guess not by the same artist. You can, you know, you can tell. It's kind of, anno kind of annoying to have the, uh, the maker's mark um, hidden underneath that matting, but that's the way it is. This is, uh, I think it's Mount Fuji, right? That's like, th this art is, uh, is, it, is that what it is, Mount Fuji? This is, uh, an, whatever this mountain is, is an iconic um, Japanese uh, icon. It's in a lot of art. And then this uh, cool tree by the edge. This one appears to be the same kind of like metallic gold and silver, um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Metallic gold and silver paint. Not the same uh, mixed media as the previous one. Another cool, uh, the texture and, and color, um, that's a little body right there. I'm, you know, maybe if I do some more research, I can figure this out. Again, would love to have anyone's input. Uh, this might even be Japanese characters. If you know what that means, I would love to uh, find that out as well. I loved this one, uh, a fish. I'm not sure what kind of fish that is. It, uh, I would assume it's a saltwater fish. So it's maybe some kind of trout, 
you know, derivative, bream, something like that. I like this one too. It's a little mouse on a barrel, and then it's got uh, like two layers of paper. So there's the actual paper the print is on. I'm not sure what kind of paper that is. I, I read that rice paper is used a lot, but I don't really know. And then there's this thicker, like not craft paper, but it, um, you know, you can see it right there. And that's all part of the same design. And there's the, you know, artist's name and their little, uh, their symbol. This one was cool, a bowl with like a mountain design on it. Uh, very simple, I prefer, you know, simple art. I like simple art, not very like uh, abstract. I mean, I do, I don't mind abstract art, but I also like when uh, the subject of a painting or any piece of art for that matter is very obvious and very, like that's what the focus is. That's what's being shown to you and you understand completely what it is. There's no, um, there's no uh, room for interpretation. And then this is the final one, a, uh, a beautiful flower. I like how it's all black and white, and then the middle of the flower has so many different colors. There's a little bit down there too, but this is like the, uh, your eye is just drawn to that aspect of it, the, the pistol, is that what it's called? Any, uh, <laughs> anybody who knows about flowers, uh, you know, feel free to correct me. And this, you know, this was it. That's my, uh, my 10, my 10 uh, paintings that I found today. Uh, I'll list these all on eBay. If you want to buy one, um, I'll cut you a deal if you like any of these. Uh, I'm thinking right now they're all going to be 50 bucks plus shipping, uh, unless I can figure out who these artists are and if they're, you know, worth any more, uh, because that seems to be a pretty fair rate for um, original art on eBay. Thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, and we do have a secret message. This is another, another thrift hunt video. And the secret message today is uh, the letter S. The letter S, write down the letter S. Oh yeah, and give it a thumbs up too if you like that kind of stuff.